Hi everyone, we're so excited you are here to learn more about Holy Week. Holy Week is the week before Easter. It's a time to reflect more deeply about the sacrifice Jesus made and the many ways he shows he loves us. Holy Week is a time to prepare with Jesus. Jesus gave us an amazing gift in two parts. First, he gave his life for us on the cross. And then after the cross, Jesus gave us a place in heaven. That's what we celebrate on Easter. During Holy Week, we prepare our hearts and minds just like Jesus did before he gave us the best gift ever. The days before Jesus gave us his gift, he was getting ready. When we celebrate Holy Thursday, we are remembering how Jesus got ready to give us the gifts of his life on the cross and heaven. Sometimes Holy Thursday is called Monday Thursday because Monday means to follow directions. On the last day before his gift on the cross, Jesus asked his disciples to remember and follow him. And now he asks us to remember and follow him. Jesus got ready to give his life by having one last supper with his disciples. First, Jesus washed the feet of each of the disciples. This was a way to show that he was going to give them the gift of his life. Jesus asked the disciples to also give to other people, to put other people first, even without being asked. Your church may have some people get their feet washed by one of the leaders. This is a way to show that we remember how Jesus gave his life. It also reminds us to do things for others and live like Jesus. Jesus had a meal with his disciples. We remember this meal when we have communion at church. First, Jesus took the bread and said a prayer over the bread. When Jesus prayed, he said, this is my body. He passed it around to each disciple. Then Jesus took the cup of wine, said a prayer over it and passed it around to each disciple. When Jesus prayed, he said, this is my blood. Jesus and the disciples ate and drank together. On Holy Thursday, after some people have their feet washed, you may have a communion service. First, the pastor blesses the bread and wine. Many Christian denominations believe it is a symbol of Jesus. Catholics believe the bread and wine become Jesus. Next, I can walk or wheel to the minister or ask the minister to come to my seat. I show I'm ready to get communion by folding my hands or putting them down. If my heart is ready, I can get communion or I can get a blessing from the minister. When we honor Good Friday, we are remembering how Jesus gave us his life on the cross. Before he did anything else, Jesus prayed in a garden. He asked for God to do God's will. That means Jesus asked for the best, most right thing, even if it was going to be hard. Good Friday is called good because it is so good that God loves us so much that his only son, Jesus, gave his life for us. When we make bad choices or mistakes that move us away from God, we deserve punishment. But Jesus giving his life on the cross makes it so that we don't have to be punished like we deserve. Good Friday is very good, but it is also sad and feels heavy in our hearts. This is because when Jesus gave his life for us on the cross, he wasn't on earth with the disciples anymore. He was gone. But just for a little bit. When you honor Good Friday in church, you may read from the Bible about Good Friday, and you may do the Stations of the Cross. When you do the Stations of the Cross, you may walk or wheel to a picture or statue of the different parts of the story of Jesus' gifts. The Stations or parts include Jesus praying, going to court, and carrying his cross. After hearing the story of Jesus or praying the Stations of the Cross, there might be a time of silence and honoring the cross. Some people kiss the cross or touch the cross and say a prayer. We honor the cross because it is a symbol of the gift Jesus gave us when he gave up his life. When it is my turn, I can honor the cross by kissing it or saying, thank you, Jesus, with sign, out loud, or with my device. On Good Friday, we may also spend time at home fasting. This means to give up something. We can give up eating a lot of food or sweets, 
listening to music, or getting to have our favorite things for the day. This is because on Good Friday, we remember when Jesus gave the hardest thing, his life. We can be like Jesus and do hard things. During Holy Week, after we honor Good Friday, we think about Jesus on Holy Saturday. It is still a time of waiting and getting ready. After Jesus gave his life for us on the cross, his body was put in a tomb, kind of like a small cave with a rock rolled in front to close it. Some of the followers of Jesus stayed outside the tomb. After waiting and remembering how Jesus gave his life on the cross, we are ready to celebrate the other part of Jesus' gift. First, the angels rolled away the tomb rock, and Jesus walked out of the tomb as alive as can be. Jesus coming alive after his death on the cross is called the resurrection. This is how Jesus gives us the gift of heaven. It shows us that when we die and leave earth, we will get to come alive again in heaven. On Easter Sunday, when you go to church, you will hear from the Bible about Jesus giving us a place in heaven. We can have communion. We can pray for Jesus to always be in our hearts. Easter is a time to celebrate all the gifts that God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit have given us. We can celebrate with a party or a special meal with family and friends. We can show we are grateful by really loving people, making good choices, and saying Alleluia. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for your gift on the cross and a place in heaven. Help us to make good choices and love like you. We praise you, God. Hallelujah.